What's up guys, it's Deli Doe Gaming here, and today we're gonna show you how to integrate your Twitch subs into your Discord server. Let's freaking do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click over here, and we're gonna get the drop down menu for your Discord server and go to server settings. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to integrations. Okay, go to integrations, and over here under the web hooks and channels followed, you're gonna have a Twitch button right here. And mine already has my account connected, which you can see, which is awesome, okay? So we're gonna go back to integrations, okay? It should say zero accounts connected under here, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're simply just gonna click the account and log into your Twitch. And so what's gonna happen after you do this, right, is that anytime someone joins into your Discord server who has their Twitch account connected to their Discord profile, it's automatically gonna get a Twitch sub role. So automatically, as soon as they come, they're gonna pop in and they're gonna have that sub role automatically, which is really cool. So now you can identify who's, you know, who's a member of the Discord and who's also a sub of your community. So it really helps out um, really just showing, you know, who's a sub, who's not a sub, all that stuff. So you can identify which is which, right? But in some cases right here, this doesn't show up. And so when that happens, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna exit out of here. Okay? And then you're gonna go to your personal Discord settings, okay? Your user settings, okay? And then you're gonna go to connections. And then what you're gonna do is you'll see how Twitch is connected for me. What you're gonna do is you're going to disconnect your Twitch, okay? So what that's gonna do is gonna free up the ability to go back over to the server settings and press the integrations button and this will be back. And it'll also at the same time, once you reconnect your Twitch channel over here, it'll reconnect your personal profile. So that's really, really cool. A good reason to do this is so that way you don't have to worry about assigning roles if you, you know, wondering if people are Twitch subs or not. Basically, this does the work for you. So work smarter, not harder when it comes to your Discord server and automatically give your subs that role. So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to go into how to actually set up your roles with your subs. So this is what happens actually. You're gonna get four different roles, okay, when it comes to your subs, okay? So what you have is Deadly Subs, Deadly Tier 1, Deadly Tier 2, and Deadly Sub Tier 3. So what's gonna happen is um, this right here, this role applies to all of your subs, okay? This role right here applies to everybody. So everyone, if they're a Tier 1, Tier 2, or Tier 3, applies to everybody. For my server, I like to separate the few because you know, I want to know, hey, I want to honestly, I want to honor those who do a tier three. We have one tier three. We have uh, two tier twos in the in the server, too. I want to be able to give special honor to those people. So they're going to have a little bit of a higher role than a than a tier one. OK, and it's nothing bad. Like, again, appreciate you appreciate the tier ones. You appreciate everybody. But honestly, man, if someone is someone is paying twenty five dollars a month, you kind of want to show that kind of special place in the discord server. Right. But if you're like some people and you don't want to separate the roles, you don't want to separate the tier one, tier two, tier three. What you're gonna do is when you do set this up, you're gonna take the just your subs role. It'll say for you, it'll say Twitch sub, Twitch sub tier one, Twitch sub tier two, tier, uh, Twitch sub tier three until you do change it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, you know, it'll say Twitch sub for you. In my case, it says deadly subs. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this all the way at the top, right? You're gonna put that at the top. So it supersedes all those roles. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into here and you're gonna go to the deadly tier three, right? You go to permissions. Um, you're going to display, sorry, you're gonna display and you're not gonna display roles separately from online members, okay? So you're gonna do the same thing with tier one and tier two as well. So if that's, if that's the case and you just want everybody just to be on the same level playing field, you don't wanna separate them all, that's what you do, okay? Um, we're gonna reset because I don't wanna do that. But anyway, that's it. That's how you integrate your Twitch subs onto your Discord profile and how you separate the roles from all the other roles on your Discord. In my opinion, it's very, very important to do this because it does give your subs a certain role in the Discord and automatically gives it to them. So that way it takes less work on you and your mods to make sure that your subs have that proper role, have that proper status in your Discord. Cause let's be honest, subs who pay monthly uh, to be on your channel deserve that recognition in your Discord. If you guys have any other questions concerning Discord, let me know in the comments below and maybe I can make a video about it. Like always, guys, make sure if you haven't subbed yet, make sure you sub to the channel and make sure you click that bell for future video notifications. Love y'all. We'll see you soon.